Today, I want to teach you how to build a squeeze page funnel with AI. I'll also share some really nice squeeze page examples that I found across the web, and I'll share with you my checklist of all the elements that must be on a squeeze page in order for it to be successful and high converting. So what is a squeeze page funnel? So a squeeze page funnel is essentially a sales funnel that consists of two steps. Now the first step is the actual squeeze page. So it's called a squeeze page because the goal of the page is to squeeze people's information in exchange for a freebie. That freebie could be a free PDF, an ebook, a checklist, a video, etc. And squeeze pages are generally uh, very short and very concise. So once someone opts in on the first step of the sales funnel, they then go to the second step, which is the thank you page. Now the thank you page is a little bit more self-explanatory. Um, you basically thank them for opting in. And here is also where you can share that freebie. So a squeeze page funnel is a very simple two-step sales funnel. Now squeeze pages can also sometimes be called an opt-in page, all right? They are kind of one and the same. An opt-in page is essentially a page where people can opt in, so fill out a form. And a squeeze page, the goal is to squeeze someone's information in exchange for a freebie. So you can call a squeeze page an opt-in page and vice versa. What about squeeze pages versus landing pages? So landing pages are more of a general term. So a landing page is essentially a page that someone lands on from somewhere else. So they might come from social media, from Google, from an ad, and then when they click on the link and land on that page, that is considered a landing page. Now a landing page usually has one goal as well. So most likely a landing page would have a form that someone would need to fill out. And that's very similar to a squeeze page, right? So a squeeze page squeezes people's information in exchange for a freebie. So a squeeze page is considered a landing page, but the goal is more specific for a squeeze page because you know exactly what the page is for. And a landing page, again, is a little bit more general. It could be long, it could be short, it could have a lot of information on there, it could be part of an entire website, so it's more general. Now here are some squeeze page examples that I, th that I think look really nice. So this is a squeeze page. This top sentence here is called the main headline. It says, learn 30 creative strategies to get photography clients fast without paid ads. There's an image of exactly what you will get once you fill out this form. And there's also some bullet points that explain what the lead magnet is and what it consists of. There's also some logos here of where I think they might be featured. So this is called social proof. Now let's take a look at this one. Now this one is a little bit more simple, right? So there really isn't any image aside from the logo on the top left, but you will notice the main headline here. And this is a quote. So there is social proof. And this last sentence here is very interesting. It says, hits your inbox every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So this sentence gives people more information about how much or how many times they would be getting emails for the sponsorship opportunities. So it kind of relaxes the user a little bit so they understand exactly how many emails they will be getting in their inbox. And of course, you have the form on the right-hand side. And this is another example of a squeeze page. So this one looks a little bit more of like a landing page, more of a general uh, website page. We can see the main headline here, a subheadline, an image, a form with a call to action, and also some bullet points that explain what skills they would need to uplevel their drumming. So this design is very different than these other two. But if you think about it, this information is essentially kind of the same as this information, right? But just the layout is different. So you'll notice some very consistent things across these squeeze page examples. So let me share with you my squeeze page checklist. So these are five must have minimal things every squeeze page needs in order for it to be successful. Um, you can add more, but I think if you have these five things, you should be on the right track. So 
your squeeze page must have a main headline that basically calls out the user and explains exactly what the user would receive in exchange for their contact information. And the squeeze page must have some product information, right? Some bullet points, a sub headline to provide some additional information about what someone would be getting after they opt in on the squeeze page. Of course, you need a form as well, ideally first name and email address. Now, one thing to note is that the longer your form is, the harder it is for someone to fill out, obviously, right? Because it takes them more time. And because of that, the conversion rate will be much less for a form that is longer versus shorter. So you want your form to be as short as possible. I always like to ask for someone's first name and email, and you also need a call to action. So a call to action could be the button for the form itself, or it could be the sentence maybe above the form, kind of like this. So this one says, leave your first name and email address below to get instant access to the course. So that's considered a call to action. And also this button as well, get the free course. That is a call to action. And lastly, you need social proof. Now, a good example of social proof would be these two right here. So this is a quote from one user. And then another great one are a list of logos where this person was mentioned. So those are the five elements that I think every single squeeze page must have in order for it to have a chance to be successful and high converting. Now, if you want squeeze page templates, I'm actually on a mission to build out um, tons and tons of sales funnels templates. Now, if you want access to free sales funnels templates, squeeze page templates, click the link in my description. You'll land on this squeeze page. So this is my squeeze page uh, where you'll fill out this form and I'll give you access to my library of free sales funnels templates that you can use for your business. After you fill out this form, you'll also get taken to the One Funnel Away Challenge, which is a 10-day challenge that teaches you how to start, launch, and run your own online business. Now, I took this a few years back, and I can honestly tell you that this was one of the best challenges or courses I ever took because every single day you get homework that you need to complete. And there's also a community as well where you can network with others, ask questions. So this One Funnel Away Challenge is very, very valuable. Um, feel free to take it if you wish. Okay, so here is how you can build a squeeze page funnel with AI. Right now, ClickFunnels actually has AI built in in order for you to create a squeeze page funnel within a matter of minutes. Okay, so I'm going to click on create a smart funnel. So their AI funnel builder and you have different funnel types. So a squeeze page is essentially an opt in page. Okay, so I'm going to click on opt in page, then click on next. And here is where we tell the AI what color and style we want. So let's just say, you know, we are looking at these, we can call these maybe competitors. And I think this purple color looks really nice. So I want to use this purple color for my own squeeze page funnel. So I'm going to use this funnel hacking tool. It's called Barnum PT. Now, if you want access to this for free, click the link in my description as well. And I'm going to click on color picker. Then I'm going to hover over this and click on it. And the hex code will be copied into my clipboard. And then I'm going to go back here, click on the primary color and paste the hex code right here. OK, so we have that really nice purple. Uh, let's see what other colors uh, we can grab. Let's just do purple for now. And I'm going to click on regenerate and the AI will kind of generate other colors to make it a really nice color palette. And you can click on regenerate um, as much as possible. And you can see the example on the right hand side and you can choose a different style as well. I kind of like this rounded style. Then click on next and images. You could pick any image. I'll show you how to use another AI to generate really nice images and click on next. And this is where we can add further details about you and your offer. So this is basically a prompt that we can give the AI to help it generate the copy for our squeeze page funnel. So let's just say we are in real estate. We're a realtor and we want to have a buyer's guide for first time home buyers with a downloadable PDF. So this is, an, this is an example. So unlock the secrets to your first home. Subheadline here, you can make 
The text playful, professional, quirky, maybe let's do quirky. And this is an example. And then click on create. And now we just need to give it a few moments for it to build our entire squeeze page funnel. Now this is just the baseline, the starting point, okay? Now this squeeze page funnel will nowhere be complete. You of course need to add your own information, your own images, maybe change up the colors, move things around, but this gives you a really nice starting point that makes your funnel building process so much quicker and easier. All right, so the funnel generation is complete. Now we can customize it. Okay, so here is our squeeze page funnel. It's a, again, two-step sales funnel, right? So the first page is the actual squeeze page itself, and we can edit it. Okay, so as you can see, it has a headline, some bullet points, a call to action, a form, also some social proof as well. So this AI built funnel has all of the main elements of a winning, high converting squeeze page. Now we can edit things. Now, I don't really like this top part, so I'm just gonna delete that. Now, what I wanna do is add a background for this main part right here, because I think it looks, it looks nice, but it looks a little kind of boring. So I'm gonna be using another AI called Magi. Now this tool, has all of the top large language models that you can use to generate all types of text and also images, okay? So I'm gonna be using Magi to create a background image for this squeeze page. You can choose from all of these large language models. I personally, personally like Ideogram and I'm gonna describe my image. And I also want to enhance the prompt to make it better for the AI to understand what I'm looking for. And the size is gonna be a landscape. And I wanna do general, then click on generate. Okay, here we go. So I think this is perfectly fine for our squeeze page. Now I'm gonna download it and then upload it into my squeeze page. Now, by the way, I think this enhanced prompt that Magi created is pretty good. So I'm gonna add this to the description so you could use it however you wish as well if you wanna create an image, something like this. So I'm gonna click on background, turn it on, and I'm gonna upload that image into my ClickFunnels account. Okay, now we also need to change this section and remove the background so we can actually see the image. Now we need to go back here, make it full center parallax. And for the foreground, should we make it darker or lighter? Um, I think lighter. Uh, let's do darker uh, for this example so the form kind of stands out more. And then we can, of course, change the text in a moment. So I think that looks pretty decent. Now we can change this subheadline and make it white also for this main headline as well and this bulleted list. And I think this bulleted list can be larger. So I'm gonna click on the L. Okay, perfect, I think that looks great. Okay, so I love how the background does have some purple that matches this button and also this row, this section right here. So I think this looks really nice. Now what I also wanna do is use AI to improve this main headline. So it says, navigate the exciting journey to buying your first home. Now this doesn't mention anything about the downloadable PDF. So I'm gonna click on AI and I'm gonna use ClickFunnels Napoleon AI to improve this main headline. So I'm gonna say, rewrite the headline and mention the downloadable buyer's guide PDF. I'm gonna extend the length. Okay, I think this is really decent. So I'm gonna send it to the app. Okay, now another thing I like to do is create a call to action for the form. Okay, so right now it just says, grab my free home buyer's guide. Now send my free report. I'm gonna click on write as a call to action. So we can copy this and paste it right here. And of course you can tweak it even further, but. I'm gonna leave this as is for this example. And for the button, I'm going to change the text, get my free buyer's guide now. And another thing, like I mentioned earlier, for the form, I always like to also ask for uh, the first name. So let's see, I actually created a better like form field than the original one. So I'm gonna delete the original form field, duplicate it, so we have an email, and for the first one, it's gonna be a first name, okay? So first name and email. Okay, so we are done. And then you can, of course, um, add your own logos here. If you don't wanna add logos, you could just delete that. And then if you have any testimonials, you can also 
add that right here, then click on save. And then you can also change the thank you page, update it however you want, like I'm gonna remove this. And then as you can see, it says your exclusive guide is on the way. And there is some text that the AI generated about the buyer's guide PDF here. So you can tweak this however you want. Okay, so this is how you can build a squeeze page funnel uh, with AI. This is the quickest and easiest way for the beginners out there. Now, again, if you want access to my library of free sales funnels templates, click the link in my description, fill out this form for free access to that library. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button, also subscribing to my channel. And if you wanna check out my other videos, Feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.